I'd like to show you an example now of using the SDCC C compiler with some inline assembly on the 8031. So here's a little program that we're going to take a look at. And uh, this is a program that um, I had in my previous video where I add two 8-bit numbers. And then I'm going to put some inline assembly to write out information, to write out the parameters on it. So this is... um. The program here and as you can see there's um the C code is right here it just adds var1 and var2 var1 is 5 and var2 is 6 so the result should be 11 so but I added some inline assembly what I wanted to do is utilize my monitor program to write out some strings and bytes to show uh, the parameters in the stack that uh, it uses and I know uh, what, it, what it is is that um, what, what, it, what it is is that uh, I have in my monitor program at this location 77C there's a subroutine that uh, writes out strings and over here at 7ED there's a subroutine that writes out a byte so what this is going to do is um, uh, it's going to you know, write out say variable 1 is equal to a value of uh, var1 and then write out the value and variable uh, 2 is equal to a value and write it out and ver variable 3 is a value and write it out then I put a, a space at the end just to add some spacing so anyway we're going to go uh, compile this program and uh, uh, take, take a look at it and in order to compile it uh, I have to uh, go to the line editor and I had some um, other areas here that will get me there um, if I go over here and I have to just get to the right directory now so I have to type CD and uh, I'm gonna do a DIR here so I need I need to get to uh, uh, the SDCC projects video one so I'm gonna type CD SDCC projects video 101 uh, so that'll get me there to where that's uh, where I need to be so now I have to get to the subdirectory CD ADD 8B07 so I'm there so I'm going to look at that uh, that subdirectory here. So right now it's just the C program that's in there. So we're going to run the SDCC compiler and it'll add a bunch of other files here. So there's some inline assembly mixed with the C. So let's run that now, the compiler. So it's SDCC. So I have to put in um, where I want to locate the code. And where I want to start the stack. Uh, it's data location, data loc o x three zero. So now I want to type a d d eight bit o seven dot c. So that's going to compile now. So now you'll see here are a lot more files. So uh, if I if I look at on this RST file, we could see the listing where it shows some of the inline code where it puts in the inline uh, assembly code mixed with the C. So here you can see it's setting, this is the initialization part where it sets var1 to 5 and var2 to 6 and var3 to 7 so it uses moves and it's putting it into uh, what I call a stack location and um, so now if we look at the, the C part of it, this is where it sums the two variable. The C compiler went and moved var2 into A and then added it to var, added var1 to it and then moved it to var3. So this is where the uh, assembly part starts now over here. So these equates of course don't make any code but this is the assembly part. So this is nice because I can mix assembly along with the C compiler. Uh, so I could uh, utilize the both, best of both worlds where uh, the C is very efficient. Uh, C is not very efficient when it's compiled, but assembly language is very efficient. 
So anyway, that's the, the listing there. So what I have to do to uh, load this program is take the Intel hex file and make a copy of it. And I'm going to rename it, um, rename it .txt. So I have to go through this because the, the editors add line feeds and uh, I want to remove all the line feeds to be able to load this into my processor. So this is the Intel hex file. What I need to do now is select everything and then do this blank operation and remove blank and uh, end of lines. And then I'm going to do um, select again. And then I'm going to do a replace. So I'm going to take all the blanks and replace them with nothing. So there are 14 replacements there. So I'm going to save this now. So now I'm going to go back to TerraTerm and make sure I can talk to the processor. So I'm going to load this uh, program now using the E command. So I turn on the right enable and I'm going to uh, transfer that file into my uh, little microcontroller. And uh, let's see, I have to get to the right directory. So it's called video one and it's this TXT file. So I'm going to open that. So now it's loading in. So it's a mixture of compiled code plus uh, assembly uh, assembled code. So that loaded in. So now I'm going to do my uh, little check to verify uh, it got loaded in properly. So I grabbed the text file again and I have a good checksum there. Uh, so far, uh, 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 something happened there. So maybe I have some kind of some kind of issue. Usually it's a communications issue, but uh, I'll give that a shot again. We'll give that check again, and if I get the same thing again, then I uh, might need to redo this. So we'll try that again. So that checked out. So now I can run my program. So it's just basically this program is add 5 and 6, which is 11. So I press uh, the J command now. So I'm going to hit, uh, it's going to just repeat over and over again. So I'm going to hit a reset to interrupt it. So you can see it here now. So var1 is equal to 5 and var2 is equal to 6 hexadecimal and var3 is equal to B, which is 11. So this is kind of neat where I could utilize a monitor program. It's kind of like making a print command. I'm not too sure uh, what SDCC has for its print command, but but uh, I'll have to investigate that further. So anyway, that's interesting. This is a way to uh, implement uh, assembly language within the C uh, compiled program and wanted you to see that. So thanks a lot for watching this. Bye now.